Hi, welcome to the series Learn Excel in 24 hours. In this video, we'll understand how to use the HLOOKUP function. The reference file for this remains the sample stock data. But in this particular file, you can see that the data headers are in rows and the actual data is spread across in columns. And therefore, we have to use the HLOOKUP function. The input parameters remain the same as the VLOOKUP function. Again, we have this reference data and in the uh, target data, what we will do is we will identify the counters we need. The counters we take are SBIN, LT and Tata Steel. And we want the open, high, low and close price. So when we use the HLOOKUP function, the first parameter will be the reference cell which in this case is the stock code the second parameter is the range the range across which the hlookup function has to search for the relevant uh, data the third parameter is the row number the row number that we want to take for that particular value so in this case for the open price the row number will be 3 and the fourth parameter is what should the value throw up in case Excel doesn't find any relevant data and by default the value is false. So we do the same thing for the high price, the low price and the close price. The relevant uh, row numbers will be for high price, it will be row number 4 from the source data range. For low price it will be row number 5 and for close price it will be row number 6. Everything else remains the same as the VLOOKUP function. It's just that in this case, as I mentioned earlier, the data headers are in rows and the data is spread across in columns. You can also see how you can do the absolute referencing with the dollar sign. And I would encourage you to use this and you know try two three different permutations and combinations so that you get familiarized with the function once you understand the vlookup function understanding hlookup will not be so much of a challenge thank you